Hey what's up guys, this is Saman here from Expert Gadgets. And here are some amazing apps for your iPad. So without any further delay, let's get this video started. Ever get in that situation where you think you just got your salary and the very next week it's gone? Well I've been in that situation many times and I've always failed to keep track of what I've been spending on. But this app called Money Manager 365 helped me a lot and kept my spending habits in check. First of all, this is a free app with no ads. I think that's about enough reason to download it, but if you need more convincing then here are some amazing features it has. It has a very clean and intuitive UI where you can easily see your income and expenses on the home screen. You can easily add income and expenses and give remarks to what you spend on. Everything is color coded so it's really easy to differentiate. You can also switch between cash or your bank account to clarify things. Plus it's got a free cloud service which auto backups your data to the cloud so you don't lose your data. And my favorite feature, the charts. Here you can see what you're most spending on and get a different view on where to save your money. So overall, it's a very handy and important app to have. Next up for wallpapers, we have two apps. First, let's take a look at Unsplash. This app has over 1.5 million high resolution images brought to you by different photographers from around the world. You can also use the images for your website or for your work. Moreover, you can search for any particular type of image you want, say for example Arial, and there you go. So if you're a photographer yourself, you can upload your images too. Overall, it's a good app for wallpapers. Secondly, we have Wally. -E. While Unsplash has more real-world images, with Wally -E we get illustrations, abstracts, and more. The wallpapers are categorized into various sections as you can see, and down below you also get the details. Next up, we have Notability. This is probably the best note-taking app for students, teachers, and business professionals. This app has some quirky features that allows you to quickly search handwriting, type text, PDF text, image text, and note titles. Your notes are also secure because it uses Face ID and conversion to PDF happens on your device, so information stays private. Additionally, you can replay audio recordings and tap anywhere on your note to hear what was said at that moment so you can get more out of your lectures and meetings when you record them. You can also work with two notes side by side and can quickly switch between notes and drag and drop handwriting, type text, images, etc. And finally, easily create searchable multi-page PDFs using the built-in document scanner. Next up, we have Dolby On. If you want enhanced audio on your videos or audio files, this is the app to get. So basically what this app does is whether you are recording a video or an audio, it auto-analyzes the ambient noise and post-processes it to enhance its overall quality. The difference is massive. Here is a quick sample. Hey what's up guys, this is Saman and currently I'm recording apps for the iPad. The same goes with the video as well. Next up we have Listel. With this app you can get daily digest on several topics. So it's like news and stories turned into podcasts. So how it works is, you can select the categories and authors you are interested, as you can see here, to get the related news and to know what's going around in the world. You can browse through the headlines and listen to what may interest you. Furthermore, you can also create playlists as well, which is a nice add-on. Next up, we have Build Course. This is an amazing app for PC enthusiasts or anyone wanting to build a PC and wants to compare various parts and components to know the details about it. So to create a build, just tap here name it, and start selecting your components as you can see here. Once you are done, you get the details about the pricing, where to buy it, and also the compatibility, which is amazing. Furthermore, you can see the benchmarks and performance charts about various components, which is really handy. Overall, it's a very handy app right now, right when Nvidia has announced their new cards and everyone is out trying to build a PC. Next up, we have Dumbbells. If you're looking for a home workout app, this is perhaps the best I've come across. It's very simple, effective, and easy to use. Basically, you can choose the type of workout you want to do, whether it's body weight, with added weights, or just cardio. After that, you can choose which workout plan suits the best for you. So here I will choose three times a week. And there you go, you get details about the weight, reps, and sets. Furthermore, you can track your progress right from this app, and also download other similar workout apps from the developers. Next up, we have Adobe Fresco. As we all know, the iPad is widely used for illustrations and design purposes. So for Apple Pencil, there is an app called Procreate, which is a paid app. But this app right here is the alternative to Procreate. 
It's called the Adobe Fresco. You get all the regular illustrations, tools, and customizing options that you would get with the desktop version of Illustrator. The UI is very simple, especially if you're an Adobe Suite user. For new users, you can also take a tour of the app to get the insights and features. So all in all, it's an amazing free app for creating illustrations. Next up, we have color widgets. Now that the iOS and iPad OS supports widgets, you can add these colorful and attractive widgets to your home screen to display various informations like battery percentage, weather, date, day and more. So far, this app offers amazing looking colorful widgets, though the paid version offers more. So if you want, you can give it a shot. Well, that was it for this video, guys. Do leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming content. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Saman signing out.